Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here. Um, and this is the start of um, something I've wanted to do for a while, uh, which is uh, a paint a stage stage by stage painting of how I paint um, some of my models. Uh, I've been juggling with ways to do this. Uh, so what, I'm, what I found, uh, what I might do, is obviously take the model and then uh, tell you the paint I'm going to paint with. Uh, paint all the areas and everything um, and then film it again and then repeat that for stages up until it's complete. Um, so today uh, I'm going to take through painting the full grid model. I'm going to use the full grid model to, um, to show. And we're going to start with this purple armour because it's the most recognisable thing on full grid. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, all GW Citadel paints uh, because it's what I it's what I'm used to and it's what I use. Um, I know people who use like um, Vallejo and stuff like that. So for the base, we are going to use this colour, which is Nagrath Knight, which is a really nice deep purple base. So we'll check back in a bit when it's all done. Uh, right, catching a bit, guys. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right, so here we are back. Uh, so we've put the uh, Nagroth Knight purple paint on. If you can just see that. So all I've done, obviously, is painted in where I'm going to start purple armor, um, and try not to get too much on the uh, detail on the. On the legs, considering how much there actually is. There we go. So as you can see, this such a detailed model. So all those bits of detail have, are going to be painted in gold. So yeah. So there's the beginnings of it. Right. So. Uh, where do we go next? So from there, uh, we will then go and then do our first layer of this, which is uh, Xerxes Purple. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, there you go. Uh, so this will go over the top. Uh, obviously, uh, it's just. Um, I can't think of the name of it. It's effectively like um, edged, uh, edged in highlights, drawn out a bit, so you're leaving the gaps really dark. Uh, um, and so yeah, there we go. So let's put this coat on, and then we'll get back. See you in a bit, guys. Uh, right, welcome back, guys. Uh, so if we've done our uh, second coat, well, our coat of um, so it's easy purple, uh, which gives us something like this. Look at. So as you can see, quite a bright purple. Uh, really cool looking colour. So, uh, so after I've done this. What I'll now do is have my first wash over the top of it of uh, this, which is uh, Drucci Violet. Uh, and this will obviously darken this layer and it will uh, fit in the recesses and everything else just to bring it, just give it a bit of depth to it. Uh, and so, right. So. Let's go do it. Uh, I'll catch you in a bit uh, after the wash is applied and dried. Awesome. Catch you in a bit, guys. Right, here we are, guys. So, we are back uh, after the first wash has been applied. And here you go. So, let's have the wash of Drew's you put on it. Just, just slightly darkened it enough. So it now starts to bring out the detail and make it look, give it a bit more depth. 
to everything. So as you can see. Alright, so we now move back to uh let's use purple. Uh but this we're gonna start doing more of a um edge highlighting. Uh and it's just bring out the edges so you're getting that blend between the light and dark which you want with uh, obviously with your painting stuff uh, so yeah so uh, so I'll catch you back after that and then we'll take it to the next step catch you later guys I'll see you in a bit right so here we are again guys uh, so as I said done our next uh, sort of re lighting of the Treaty purple just to make the purple pop a bit more and to darken in the uh, the other air, uh, the darker grooves. So as you can kind of, as I'm hoping I can, this boy on the camera, you can really start to see the build in the uh, in the armor and just see the detail coming coming through. Right, so next, we're going to go for a bit more of an extreme highlight uh, with uh, Jean Steeler Purple. That's what we're going to use. Uh, now, you only want a fairly thin layer of this because, um, like I say, it's just to build it up. And what it's for is it's just going to be used in extreme highlight. So it won't be all over the model, but it'll be. Um, of where the sun's catching it quite brightly. Um, uh, I have to thank Black Legion Braska for showing me this one. He said, think of the the model and the best way to do it is pretend the sun is shining down, right down from above. So everywhere you can see on the top and everything, just give it a few, uh, a few very light licks across the armour and then just blend, uh, sort of, fade it in um, and yeah so uh, so let's get to it I'll catch you in a bit <coughs> and show you what it looks like all done <coughs> excuse me right so here we are again guys uh, this is with the uh, final uh, highlight oh. so <coughs> this is with jeans uh, yeah it was jeans to the purple uh, up and over the top. So, focusing. There we go. So, as you can see, the arm has been just pointed out to bits, bits and pieces of highlight in there on the feet and the legs. The arms, and so yeah. All right. So for the final step for Fulgrim, because uh, I wanted to make his armor stand out from an army of obviously the all purple uh, guys that he is. Uh, I've got a because I still have the old old inks, so I'm going to be using this, which is purple ink, uh, to just do a very uh, Thin coat over the top. Um, now it's been quite watered down, uh, so it's so it won't dry quite thick. Uh, the effect I'm looking for is something like if the camera picks it up properly. It's what's on uh, the backpack here. It's kind of this real, quite nice royal purple look. Uh, like I say, it might be hard to tell on the camera. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> so uh, there you go. Uh, so I'll let you. Uh, so I'll come back to that after he's all dried and done and everything. So catching a bit, guys. Right then, guys. There it is. So here's the purple all done. Uh, 
So, let's have a quick look after the ink has been put on it. So as you can see, uh, it has been significantly darkened uh, from what was in the previous bit. Uh, this is kind of how I wanted it because it will make Fulgrim stand out with the purple armour. Uh, it gives it a really nice rich purple art, uh, purple colour uh, and obviously with all the highlights in there that's gone into it it will just give it that really nice depth uh, obviously uh, I always find it hard to picture models of how they how they are when uh, when they've been uh, when they're still like this because obviously you got to imagine this with all the gold detail done uh, the face, the sword, the cape, which will be red, and then all the white. Um, oh God, uh, tassels coming off. Um, so yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, the uh, this video on uh, at least a way of painting purple. Um, like I say, this is my uh, this is my first uh, paint uh, paint stage one. So um, please let me know what you think of it. Um, you know what I can if there's anything I can improve on or stuff like that. So I, I want to learn and I want to make it make these vids better. Um, so yeah. So um, all being well, uh, the next cut I'll be doing on him and this uh, series of painting thing uh, will be. Uh, the way I paint gold, because I, I have been asked a few times of how I actually get my uh, gold, gold the way it looks. Um, so I'm going to show that next. Uh, and yeah, so, um, so there you go guys. Um, as always, um, if you want to, you know, like I said before, drop, drop us a comment down below. On, you know, uh, I'll... I'll read and get back to you and everything and that'll be cool. Or drop us a comment over on uh, the Facebook page and give us a like. Um, and uh, and yeah, uh, and you can catch up on all the on all the cool bits and pieces that I'm working on and everything on there. Um, and a couple other bits and pieces and stuff that I've got going. So there you go guys, thanks again and uh, catch you again next time.